Hello again, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm at the Jackson Ag Research Station here in Jackson, Ohio, and I'd like to introduce you to shagbark hickory. Shagbark hickory is pretty common in much of the eastern United States and is found throughout all of Ohio. So how do we identify shagbark hickory? Well, first of all, like all the other hickories, shag bark has alternate leaf arrangement. So leaves alternate sides of the twig. These leaves are compound leaves. They're pinnately compound, which means feather-like. They typically have five leaflets on shag bark hickory, although it can have seven. Again, fives are most common, occasionally sevens. These leaves are arranged in a pinnate fashion. So you've got leaflets on both sides of the rachis, and then usually a terminal leaflet. These leaflets on both sides of the rachis are actually paired or opposite from one another, but the leaves themselves alternate sides of the twig. Another characteristic of most of the hickories is that the terminal three leaflets are considerably larger than those that are lateral leaflets on the side. And if this were to have the seven leaflets, there would be two smaller ones here at the base and then paired leaflets until we get to three at the tip. So again, shagbark hickory. Most of the hickories also have a serrated or toothed margin. These are somewhat ciliate, which means if you look very closely, you're gonna see little fine hairs at the tips of these teeth on the leaflets. The leaf rachis or stem is a little bit fuzzy or tomatose. And the new growth on the twig is often fuzzy or tomatose. In fact, that's one of the great ID characteristics for shagbark hickory. Mockernut hickory also has a tomentose twig, but there are some bud differences that we'll talk about here in a little bit. So again, new growth twig is very tomentose or hairy. When we look at the buds, the terminal bud is pretty diagnostic for shagbark hickory. It holds on to these outer scales. The scales are what we call persistent. Mockernut hickory, which also has a tomentose twig, loses those outer scales. So they're deciduous on mockernut, and they hang on on shagbark hickory. Great ID characteristic. If we look at leaf scars on the twigs of the hickories, you're gonna typically see three semicircular uh, areas that come together. They kind of form the shape of what a lot of people say looks like a monkey's face. So when you look at it closely, you're gonna three, see these three semicircular areas on the leaf scar that form a shape that looks kind of like a monkey face. Kind of hard to see this time of year, the old, uh, Leaf scars are kind of faded and the new ones are not there yet because the leaves haven't fallen. But as soon as these leaves fall, look at the leaf scars. They look a bit like a monkey's face. And so the next thing to really use to identify the hickories are the fruits. All the hickories have a husk with an inner bony nut. This husk thickness is a great way to separate the hickories. All the hickories have sutures or splits on these husks. Unlike walnuts, which don't have sutures, it's just one husk covering the nut, and that husk has to be broken down before the nut is exposed. But these actually have sutures or splits, and you'll see that these husks are very thick. Shag bark and its very close looking relative, the shell bark, have very thick husk. So that's a great identifier. Usually these husks are nearly a half inch in thickness, so that separates them from many of the other hickories. Um, again, Thick husk, bony nut inside, and then all the hickories will have these husks that split or have sutures. The bark is really diagnostic for shag bark hickory. These large plates are actually attached in the center, and usually the bottom and the top of these plates are loose, so it almost looks like the rocker on the bottom of a rocking chair attached to the middle, and these flaky plates or shaggy plates are what really make it diagnostic to separate this from the other hickories, except for one and that's shellbark hickory. Shellbark hickory looks a lot like shagbark hickory. We've already done a video on that, but some key differences are location. Shellbark hickory is typically on a floodplain, very moist sites. It typically has much larger leaves and leaflets that usually are seven to nine, where these are typically five. Uh, so that's a great identifier. And then finally, the twigs on shellbark hickory are also larger, they're more stout, and they typically have a bit of an orange appearance to them. So again, this is shagbark hickory. It's a great species that you'll find often mixed with many of our oaks. Great for wildlife, especially rodents, 
that can break down these hard bony nuts and consume that fruit late in the growing season. I grew up um, squirrel hunting, so I spent a lot of time under shagbark hickories. Thank you so much for your time, and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods. 